What's up, everybody? March 29th, 2023. And we had some snow earlier today. As you guys know, we put out a video and you also went on the live feed with us, but we had a break and everything was nice and blue like this. But this is, look at that. It was just like it is way out there for the last few hours. But now the second part of the storm is coming in. And I just wanted you guys to see this before we go recording as soon as it starts snowing again. So gorgeous, just so gorgeous. All right. Okay, one more update before it starts to snow. We're supposed to get a little bit of snow, it looks like maybe after midnight, but I just wanted you guys to see what it's look like, what it's looking like as things are rolling in. Hey, what does it look like before things start rolling in? And by the way, we have a friend named Kathy on this channel and they stay on Cove Drive and they've been snowed in recently. I just wanna say hi to Gigi. Hello, Gigi. How are you, my friend? Thank you so much for watching the channel. I really appreciate it. That is so cool. <laughs> that is so cool. That makes me really, really happy. And so I just want you to know that uh, I do appreciate you being here. I appreciate you all being here, but Gigi, you have a wonderful family and just please understand that I'm always here for you, especially because you guys are really nearby, really close. So let me know what I can do for you guys. Thank you again for being so supportive. So once again, guys, this is just a quick little update, a one minute update before we go out on the drive tonight, just so you guys can see how things are rolling in right now. Okay, awesome. All right, you guys, it's I think just after two in the morning. Just started snowing, there's a big push coming through right now. So what I just showed you guys a couple minutes ago, or right before this little video is uh, what it looked like during the transition from, uh, we had most of the day without snow, beautiful blue skies, and now this is what's happening. How beautiful this looks. So we're gonna go for a drivey poo. It's March 30th, 2023 at about two in the morning. Let's do this. And it, if you guys like like what I do and see the effort that I put into this, I'd really appreciate a like and a, a subscribe. That, that would really be awesome. I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. All right, you all, here we go. This is what we got going on. 24 degrees, 2.34 in the morning. We are off. As I said, it just started snowing a couple minutes ago again. We had most most of the day after the live feed. Actually, during the live feed is when it stopped at the end of the live feed. And it was supposed to start a little bit earlier again, but it didn't. So I stayed up until I saw the first snowflakes out the window. And here we go. Here we go. I'm excited. You guys know how much I love to do this. So I figured we, we would do a village drive to start. Look at the roads though. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This just happened in, in the past 10 minutes. Or no, about 15 minutes because I, I warmed up the car before we left. So but yeah, everybody, it's great to have you guys here with me. Thank you all for all the beautiful comments. You guys are so incredible. I really do appreciate it very, very much. It makes me feel so good. Remember, I'm the original one up here doing this, and even even those channels in Mammoth started after me, so I feel so privileged that I created kind of like a genre of YouTube stuff for our, our mountain ranges in California. It's really, really cool. I never thought I would have that type of an impact. So yeah, it's, it's just, it's an absolute blessing. Just so you guys know, you are with the original, the original weather YouTuber in Big Bear. I don't know if that's something I should be proud of or not, <laughs> but thank you guys for being here, sharing these great experiences with me. Um, I will continue doing this as long as uh, as long as I'm here. And that can be construed in many different ways. Anyway, on the forecast, we have a couple more inches coming potentially. So that's great. It did. We didn't get as much original as originally expected. Um, you guys remember just just yesterday they were predicting 
possibly if everything works out up to a foot and if not maybe you know six to eight inches I said between like four and six inches so once again my complete guess will be more correct than the professionals out there it is a ghost town huh this time in the morning we can have nobody out here so what I was thinking is uh, I'm going to show you guys without any traffic the back roads to get to Moonridge. I show you guys often but it's important that you guys get it down because when you do come up here where there's a lot of traffic it's going to save you so much time and I love you guys. I want you guys to you know, keep the time you have to, to do what you want to do if you're not stuck in nasty traffic. Okay, so just started right here. The moderate to heavy stuff, which is great. So we're gonna get caught up in, in that good stuff. Let's just click on the radar real quickly. Hit the play button. Obviously that blue dot is where we are at. As you can see, it just started. And it's gonna get pretty heavy for a couple minutes. Watch. Right when we came outside, boom. And then to the actual forecast, let me just uh, get that to you guys real quickly. Tonight, one to three inches, low around 20. Tomorrow in the morning times, uh, snow accumulation is less than an inch. Then we got something else coming in on Monday. Let me see, yeah, so on Monday, less than an inch, but I heard that these totals early next week could pick up a bit. So. Keep your fingers crossed, you guys. And let's go. So we are gonna go through the village, but then once we get onto Big Bear Boulevard, we're gonna make our first right on Knickerbocker and take that to uh, what would be Village Drive. That's what we were just on, and we turned left here onto Pine Knot. But we're gonna take Knickerbocker up to uh, to Village Drive if you turn right, and if you turn left, it's Pennsylvania Avenue. And we're gonna be turning left once we get to that part. There's nothing on the road, this is so great. I kind of want to take the ghost town route, but that's okay. All right, Knickerbocker Road. guys if you would turn right here you're gonna head right into the village this is Pennsylvania to the left village drive to the right so if you go that way you're in the village and we're gonna go left so if you stayed on village drive you guys and came across Knickerbocker once again you're gonna be on Pennsylvania and just follow my follow my route this this will save you an awful lot of time you guys and also I have a shortcut in the village also even though it's not a big area, you can get some some really horrible traffic in the village where it's just stopped. So I'll go over that with you guys sometime soon as well. 
but as long as you can get here, you guys are gonna save a ton of time. Always remember driving in the neighborhoods. Please do not speed. Remember that there, in these snowy conditions, there are a lot of kids up here sledding. They might slide out from one of these little hills right in front of you, so you don't want to be speeding through here. Um, I'm giving you guys these, these back routes because I know you guys are super respectful. So many of you have been with me for so many years, and I, and, and, and I know it's going to be so many years to come, so I'm super stoked about that. Obviously, it's almost three in the morning, a quarter to three, we're probably not going to get many kids sliding out, but you, you just never want to take that risk. And I found something out today from one of you who pointed out the most obvious thing, which I didn't even think about. So you guys remember I was frustrated with our city for not doing anything about those potholes on Big Bear Boulevard. Well, Big Bear Boulevard is Highway 18 and Highway 18 is a state route. So good on California for not doing anything. Shocker there. <laughs> So the state of California is responsible for that. Um, and some some people told me that you can't get any money from the state for your flat tire, but someone else told me that you can file a claim. And I can't I I can't remember where, but now that you know that, you could probably Google it. We are turning left here on Jeffries. And then your first right, you guys. See, if we keep going straight, we're going to hit Big Bear Boulevard. We're going to avoid Big Bear Boulevard. We're going to pretend like there's bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic. So now we are on, on Oak Street. stay on this until you get to a street called Eureka and one way to remember that you're there is once you get to these two yellow signs straight ahead not a through street you're gonna to want to turn left this is Eureka and Eureka at the end here about 200 yards up curves around to the right and it changes its name from Eureka to McWinney so you're gonna to want to follow that to McWinney Eureka to McWinney can't screw this up especially especially this part you really can't because if you go straight it's a dead end you see, you see uh, where that that pile of snow is you can't can't go through it's not a through street so you turn right on McWinney and then the next street we come up to we're gonna make a left-hand turn that is called Ren W-R-E-N once again guys I know this it's it might be annoying me telling you guys these specific directions, but I'm telling you, it's going to save you a lot of time when you come up here and it's during the day with these conditions. I promise you. So make a left on Wren. And then you're going to want to make one more right-hand turn on a street called Brownie. It's two streets up. We just passed one. And here's Brownie. If you get to the stop sign, that's Big Bear Boulevard. You've gone too far and you'll be stuck in traffic. Most likely, once again, in, in these conditions during the day. So here we go. We're turning right on Brownie Lane. And you'll take this all the way to Big Bear Boulevard. Pretty simple. I, I mean, to Moon Ridge Road. It is a little bit late. I haven't had much sleep. But I love doing these videos. You guys can believe it. I have, I, I have over 3,200 videos in just under eight years of all weather, weather-related stuff. I really love doing this.
necessarily need, need to worry about what these streets are called here, but this is called Thrush. Connell's Jr. is right on the corner of Big Bear Boulevard and Thrush. Next stop sign will be Summit Boulevard. That is where you get to Snow, Snow Summit. That's that's the, the entrance, the way you enter into Snow Summit. You turn right and just go until you can't go any further. Oh, it's so lovely out here, you guys. It's just spectacular. Pretty messed up potholes there, jeez. straight. As I said, if you turn right, you go up to Snow Summit. We are not going to Snow Summit. We are going straight across. That's Big Bear Boulevard, the stoplight right there. 7-Eleven with the gas stations is on the corner. Right there. snow for me is just pure happiness whenever it snows I could be going through the, the hardest thing in my life and it takes away a lot of the pain okay we're at Moon Ridge Road there is Walgreens all dark right there that stoplight is Big Bear Boulevard yeah we're on Moon Ridge and we're gonna hang on Roscoe space on either side to regain control obviously if there's traffic coming the other direction just get back on your side of the road and, and drive normally but it's all about safety and doing what you have to do to keep it extra safe that's what I suggest I care about you guys a lot I don't want anything happening to you guys Let's go check it out. 
Now we are turning right onto Club View from Moon Ridge Road. If you guys stay on Club View, one of the sledding locations, a free area that I've told you guys about, it's in the playlist. I have a playlist of the four free sledding locations. It's on one video, but it's easy to find it in, um, in my playlist, guys. My playlist area of the channel. So I urge you guys to check that out. But for easy directions, when you're on Moon Ridge Road, you turn right here on Club View, which is the same street you turn to go to Bear Mountain. But the thing is, you don't divert from Club View at all. You go up all the way to the top. Let's get this going a little faster for a second, get some of those chunks of ice off. Shore, when we did that live feed earlier today, it didn't seem too bad, did it, y'all? We went to the tributary live, Grout Creek, where the waterfall is. So if you guys want to see that, hop onto the live feed. Check it out. We also almost crashed. I lost control, the worst I've lost all, all season. We started sliding into the to oncoming traffic, but fortunately I regained control. My old work, Bear Mountain. I was a cook here. Worked for a company called Levy. All right, let's turn this back up again. The Witcher Wipers are already getting more snow and ice on them from a couple seconds of not uh, keeping the defrosters on full blast. Sorry about the noise though, I really am. Yeah, it's snowing pretty good up here. Big, beautiful snowflakes. Temperature dropped down to 22 degrees. So that road we were just on driving by Bear Mountain, that's called Gold Mine. When you turn left off of Club View, that's Gold Mine. And we're already back on, on Moon Ridge Road on the other side. So Gold Mine is just that little road to get to the parking for, the, for Bear Mountain and the golf course. And for those of you who didn't know, Bear Mountain used to be called Gold Mine. I think in the 60s and 70s or something like that. Once we get up to, or once it's sun up, I'm gonna go out and do another video. 
and then sleep until I start work at 10. So I'll probably get two hours of sleep. But that's okay. You guys are worth it. Your safety is worth it. Information for you guys is worth it. I, I love doing this. I really love doing this. 99% of these storms, you guys, literally when the first snowflake comes down, I've been out there recording all the time. When it stops, if once it starts again, I'm back out there again. Some some days I've had four or five, six different videos because of such ch drastic changes in our weather. Okay, we're still on Moon Ridge here. The snow really is coming down. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Alright, so instead of staying on Moon Ridge here to the left, we, if we kind of hang to the left, we're going to go straight. And I always forget if this is called Cougar or, uh, oh my gosh, I, I always space it, you guys, for some reason. But we'll figure it out in just, just a moment here. We're going to actually go up into Fox Farm this way. This eventually turns into a, to Catalina. This could still be Catalina. Oh, no, I'm sorry, this, this, this doesn't turn into Catalina. This just goes behind uh, one of the satellite parking lots. And what is the street called? Sonoma. We're on Sonoma. dead end at um or actually no this i think this is going to lead us to uh um cougar and then we're going to turn left on cougar and stay on cougar and it turns into catalina and then we're going to go up into fox farm Elm Street, this is now Catalina. Once again, this is, uh, we are getting close to an, air, uh, an area called Fox Farm. It's a big neighborhood in Big Bear. One of the biggest, actually. Snow off here. Let it fling a little bit. Come on, fling it off, 
baby, play it off. Yep, the big chunk just flew off, another one did. Another one bites the dust. Coming up here, uh, I think it's called Avalon. The street comes up on you fast, but we're going really slow. I think this is it. Yeah, so we want to turn right here. See that? This is so easy to miss this street. We're going to turn on Avalon. Santa Clara. So we're gonna turn left on Santa Clara. And this will take us up to Fox Farm Road. Temperature is still maintaining at 22 degrees. This is the time we've got right now. There are quite a few shortcuts, you guys, to get you from Big Bear Lake to Big Bear City and whatnot. The most important route for right now that I showed you guys is that one that takes you from the village to, uh, to Moon Ridge. That's the most important one to focus on right now. And then uh, in later videos, I will teach you guys very thoroughly how to get from Big Bear Lake to Big Bear City without dealing with any of the, uh, the traffic as well. Past one car yet, you guys? At all? I don't think so. On the whole entire drive, I don't think so. So we are going to take this to the beginning of the Big Bear City area on Division Road. If we make a right at Big Bear Boulevard, once we get to Division Road, we're heading into Big Bear City. If we make a left, we're heading into Big Bear Lake, and we're gonna be heading back into Big Bear Lake. All right, first things first, so we gotta turn left here. This is called McAllister. I always remember this street's name because of Kevin McAllister from Home Alone. <laughs> I know, it's childish, but that's the era I grew up. short sliver when we make a left hand turn here it's about 45 feet worth of the street this is called sugar pine you can't see it because the street sign is caked with snow 
We're going to turn left here on Sugar Pine. And then an immediate right, right here on Division Road. And usually right through here is one of my worst areas for my cell phone for service. I have Verizon, but I got Verizon after a few years up here because I learned that Verizon is by far the best coverage in this area. But this is one of the few few areas in town where I don't get any service. Almost all the way down to Big Bear Boulevard, which is not far though. We're coming up to it. street coming up if we would turn right it's another huge shortcut to get from the beginning of Big Bear City almost to the almost to the end almost all the way to Sugarloaf avoiding traffic again here's Big Bear snow play my wife and I in a few days we're gonna go do some, some sledding at, at the other location though at the Alpine slide at Magic Mountain Motel 6. A little bit bright there, huh, guys? Jeez Louise. All right, here's Big Bear Boulevard. As I said, if you turn right here, you're going into Big Bear City. If you turn left, you're going into Big Bear Lake. Division does divide, but it doesn't conquer. See, Big Bear Lake, the city limit. Once again, I'm kind of driving in the middle. Keep your eyes peeled for uh, for uh, potholes, you guys. that ice is getting on the end of the windshield wiper. The big piece just flew off, so that's good. Once we get where I need to go to upload the video, then I will uh, take that off the windshield wipers for sure. Never forget, when you guys come up here and you're here in snow overnight, Pull your windshield wipers up. Look, the first car, we're passing the first car. This whole drive is incredible. Wow, that is loud. Let's see if I can real quick. Nope, it's way too much weight. It won't even, it won't even let it go fast. <laughs> Okay, we're coming up to Stanfield Cutoff. There's the Stater's truck. I admire these, these guys and gals that drive these trucks up here. They have a lot of courage driving in, in, in these conditions up and down the mountain. It's amazing to me. They gotta put their chains on. It's just a, a pain in the butt. shopping areas you've got a couple cell phone places um, a good friend of mine owns boost mobile he's one of the owners his name is Jeff Wells if you guys go in there and tell him I, I sent you he'll probably take care of you if you're a boost mobile person um, I get my Verizon stuff done down the hill even though there is a Verizon store up here 
but yeah, there's Stater Brothers over there. Spectrum store. Here's Vons and a couple other little shops in here. DIY. Two Starbucks in this shopping center right there to the right. I'm telling you, that's really, really loud. Anyway, we're back on Big Bear Boulevard. Thank you guys so much for cruising with me. I appreciate it so much. I love the support. It means the world to me. You guys see the, the time of day that I go out and do these things. It's whenever the weather tells me to go out, not when I feel like it. So thank you guys for everything. Once again, if you, if you, if you like what I do and appreciate what I do, I would really love a like and subscribe and share this, share my videos with, with other people. And, uh, yeah, it, it, would really, it would really help me out. I'd really appreciate it, you guys. I worked so hard for this. Um, it would really mean a lot. Thank you. And once again, it is March 30th, 2023 in the Big Bear, California area. And uh, we, yeah, we have a couple more inches of snow coming. Temperature is now 24 degrees, 312 in the morning. I wish you all the very best. I wish you all happiness, peace, safety, always. And if you need anything from me, don't hesitate to leave a comment, ask a question. I'm always here for you guys. All right. You guys take care and thanks again for absolutely all the love and support. I will talk to you guys later. We're back to Moon Ridge Road, by the way. Peace out.